Let's hit, let's hit the other shop really quick. I want to see if there's anything I can actually buy right now. I'd be glad to help, but after years of trade, though my mind is keen, my body betrays me. Yes, I've bought and sold it all. Furs and jewels, tobacco and wine, fish and fowl, sugar and spice, the corn, and with it, the eucopia. I don't suppose you've any nails, but these ones are shite. I do not, Daniel. I do not. But I assure you that I have taken note of your demand. When New Eden opens to the world once more, then I shall move to meet your need. You shall have the finest Boston nails. The blacksmith may moan, or he may make better nails himself. This is the way of the world. A bright future awaits us, Daniel. I look forward to it, Mr. Paris. But if I can't get good nails now, there ain't no future at all. Are you going to keep flapping your gob, or are you going to help your feckin' customer? Shite gob. Hell are you swatting at? Middle of summer and these effing mosquitoes are all over the place. Alright, hey guys and gals, welcome back to Banishers Ghosts of New Eden. It's Dervell with Mad Ferret Studios. So we are with the wood folk. And it's time to introduce right. ourselves. Let's go make ourselves useful. If the nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. So who do we want to go to first? Go to the shop first. I have a lot of money. I want to see what I can buy. I have to say, if the Scottish the forge, basket... Kate said the blacksmith may need help. And that's where we're going first. Can we not buy anything? Damn it. <gasps> Forgive me. I ought to start. Oh well. Ain't you a sight? Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner, too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. There's nary an Englishman I wouldn't kill. But you'll make an exception. Let's trade, Mrs. Heaton. All right, let's. Uh, I've got a shite ton of... Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, fuck. I don't have enough. Oh, I'm a sucker for armor. Banisher's T. I only have 280. A G and Echo. Hmm... Damn, I can't buy anything. Oh well, we'll come back. So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? What think you of thick skinned new smith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart, even if she doesn't show it. Why else would she shield us from the beast? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. 
The beast is worrisome, tis true. But thick skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible, watchful. When she speaks, I listen. Are we going to have to choose between the two? To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you and for your husband, too. He around. Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him and he feels the weight of it. I had an, uh, I had, uh, an apprentice blacksmith for years. Uh, if you're listening, hi, Aaron, uh, to hone his hammering skills. He put it upon himself to make medieval style nails every day before we forge something else. He got pretty good at the end. Uh, I almost wanted him to make a bunch of it. So for like any time I wanted to do improvements on the shop, we could always use his stuff and say that, you know, even though you moved away, there's still a part of you that's here all the time. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He doesn't sleep. He works day and night. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. Oh, well, hopefully one of these... Well, they're all haunting, so... I guess he's dead. Ah, uh, nice sword. An early basket hilt. Uh, no fuller, so it's going to be heavy as hell. It looks like the edges are nicked. Curiosas look better. Taking your meager supplies. I found a friend, a good man, who has sinned at times, but wishes no harm. Speaks to me with respect, and I likewise... Okay, she's having an affair. I have a feeling about the bed. All emotions are trapped here. Imaradas et tus. Imaradas et tus. Oh, oh. No. 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 No, yours. Definitely an extramarital affair going on. That's no ghost threatening Nelly. That's her husband. It seemed like he was fighting the urge to hurt her. Year of our Lord 694. From the pen of the most honorable Fairfaxy Haskell, governor of the new colonies of New Eden. 
and roundabouts to Master Fortune Haiti, Haiti's Forge and Smithy, Brace Mox, London. A letter of appointment. My dear, most fortunate Mr. Hayton. You are known in London as a blacksmith of some renown and a Puritan of impeccable faith. So it's just his, his contract to become the blacksmith. I thought that was a piece of ham for a second. I sense the fragment of a ghost's voice. That drill bit is dull as a hammer. Oh, that looks like my grandfather saw. My grandfather saved some of my great, I think my great great grandfather's or great 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 grandfather's old saws when he was a woodworker in Germany. Uh, they are gorgeous. And I dare not use them for fear of his ghost coming back to haunt me. Speaking of nails. These nails look brittle. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Haskell chose the blacksmith for his mastery, but the work is poor. Maybe someone else is doing it. Wrong button. Aiton, our house is at a fallen down and we need nails to build with. Deliver soonest, if you will. No shite like the last lot. You're supposed to be good at your work. Traces of a ghost's mem. What is it? Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. One moment. No blacksmith. And no tools. Could he have taken them with him? That's a good anvil. Uh, anyone's wondering, the chain is to help control the noise. So you have the the anvil on the wooden block helps helps deaden the reverberations when you're hitting on top of it, and the chain around it helps keep the ringing of the anvil from going everywhere. Ooh, that's a nice... Like a saw. I'm not exactly sure what type of saw that is. I'm gonna have to look that up. There's a lot of work for me to do when I'm editing these episodes. Uh, looks like anthracite coal. Usually has that reddish tinge to it. It's also what would be found in in the New England area, I think. These are cool. These bellows. And where's the foot mechanism? Or is it... Yep. So yeah, you could be working right here and not really have to move any further around. Quenching tank is a little too far away. Usually I'd like to have mine within arm, sh arm reach. Oh, nice post vice. It's if you want to... Uh, uh, twist or bend anything hot without holding onto it with your bare hands. Yeah, you pull up on the on the lever up here, and it works the bellows to feed the fire. I tried making one of these once, and I can never never get the uh, pattern right. Well, I guess we'll go on with the game. Oh mine! Oh mine! Mine! Oh mine! Mine! Oh, mine. That ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. I cannot remember his name, but that sounded like the, uh, the, uh, the governor from Pocahontas singing the song, Mine, Oh, Mine. <laughs> Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. 
Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. A moment. God, I love this. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. See, this was the part of The Witcher I love the best. I love the monster hunting quests. It's almost screw the main game. The monster hunting quest where you could actually be a detective and like try to figure out what monster you're going to fight. You know, how do you prep using the clues you have available? Did we lose him across the river? Nope, there he is. Gotta love that. If there's any game I could play over again and have my memory erased, it would be The Witcher. I've heard they're remaking the first Witcher game, which I think I'll probably put on the channel eventually when it comes out, because I actually never played the first Witcher. I think by the time I, I heard about it, the the graphics and the playstyle was just so dated, I couldn't do it. What think you of the blacksmith and his wife? A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy, too. Aye, but whose? Fiery Grove. It's like spring, fall, spring, fall. Mm, fish. Well, that's a bag for tools. that oh not that some we can't break it Oh, if you're out there, please save me, Superman. Come out. To safe. Uh, are they are they gone? Oh, thank you. Whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I oh, thank you. 
I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the manager. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? So, you're the blacksmith. What's that like, then? Uh, it's all right, I suppose. You busy? Yes, of course I am. <laughs> Lots of building work to be done. That means nails, a whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. I love when a man takes pride in his work. What are you doing out here, anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. The forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't well, mean to no mind. shit. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm <laughs> losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them. And then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them, as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe. No. I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes, I can help. I heard you praying. I thought I recognised the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. I thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence. <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am, was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it to yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. That is the most ridiculous notion ever that I've heard. They both believe in the same book, the same God, the same teachings, but it's a slightly different interpretation. Therefore, you have to die. You believe in God? No? Boom. Dead. Do you believe in my god? Yes. Do you believe in transubstantiation? No? Boom. Dead. Ridiculous religion. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <laughs> Thank you. Well, not all blacksmiths are burly. I feel an echo ringing. Like a hum. Let's see where the back door leads. Let's expect the tools in the cabin first. Dude, that one. And my controller died. Long lasting batteries, my ass. 
Reloaded and ready to go. I thought opening that chest made my game crash. The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. Oh, he wants that of the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Well, they're just random torches out in the woods. Amazing, the whole forest isn't burned down. The blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. They who are haunted do good things. Maybe the ghost wanted him dead. Looks like a rest spot up there. Where am I at on the map? Yeah. Might hit this first, see if we can... I don't think we can level up and maybe upgrade some of our gear. you need a breather, we can do it here. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Oh, okay, this. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us. Up, can't upgrade anything. Well, that was a pointless detour.
I feel something close. Finding plenty of stuff, but really don't have any use for it yet. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes. That would be a shame. Well, I would hope we so. We need to look for somewhere to cross. This feels like a boss fight. Another chest. It's up there, I wonder. Oh, can't get up there. I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then. Let's trigger the trap. Like that, your mangy boxes. before it possesses the corpse. Honey! More fun. 
Watch out. Spectre position. I knew it. I knew the trap was a trap. Lock in here. Time to oh. work, Banisher. Probably something nasty. That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. Fortune's not the blacksmith. We should talk to his ghost. Show yourself. So that's why the nails are shite. This is no blacksmith. <laughs> we are the banishers Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. But I'm that doing that right now. To agree. Who are you and what <clears throat> do you want with the blacksmith? My forge. My wife. My name. All mine. The bastard stole them. Is he telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? Yes, dummy. <laughs> you couldn't figure that out? <laughs> That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw That's why he's a saltwater ghost. They killed him and I dumped him overboard. Him what happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Aaron. Oh. Watch it. Brad, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine! She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pried from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one! A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. 
You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Yeah, we need a little bit more intent from her. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. You're the bastard. The murder is murder. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety. Money. Can... I can't do anything about that yet. How do we get back to the forge fast? <laughs> now the exciting conclusion. I think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. You should have said something. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the Banisher knows? Yeah. No, though I'd not swear on it. He's no fool. I am no Puritan. He must know that at least. Mine. 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 Oh, mine. Oh, mine. You again. Piss off, Heaton. And no more scheming. Hush! Someone's coming. Banisher! You're back! Mr. McRae, my man came back and I hear of you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir. But you're not Fortune Heaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Heaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. Always on me. How did you two meet? <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. 
On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He is as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companionship on the companion way. How very charming. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe he'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end, but I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. You're not Fortune Heaton. <coughs> so, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man, a repentant, hard-working man, if I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor. And his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? This one's a little bit easier for me because... Even though I don't like thieves, at the same time, I don't like, uh, women beaters. Fortune Heaton. Dead as alive, you're an angry man. <clears throat> time to go. I made her. She is mine. I built it all, and they took it from me. And now your work and your name shall pass to Arthur Carty while you enter oblivion. Nelly will run the forge, and a better version of Fortune Heaton will walk the world. I am Fortune Heaton. Ever was, and ever will be. Not anymore. Be gone. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your name. Is it over? Is it done? Aye. He's gone. What will you tell the others? Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. You need to work on your nails. Beginning skill or any blacksmith, you do that 20,000 times by tomorrow, I'm coming back. I think I let him off easy. All right, that guys and guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, I think next time we'll either go back on the main quest or hit the other 
hit the other haunting case before we move on. That makes sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and catch everyone next week on Banishers. Peace out.